The violin was his main instrument already before composing. He performed the first movement of the uh, Mendelssohn Violin Concerto. Also performed Ferdinand David's violin concerto in E minor, and he played the second violin in the performance where Ferruccio Busoni played the piano part of Schumann's piano quintet in E flat. But after all, he didn't become a violin virtuoso or violinist himself, even though he clearly wanted to. I think the first idea of composing a violin concerto he got already uh, in the early 19, uh, 1890s, so over 10 years before he actually composed the concerto. He planned another concerto around 10, 20 years after the D minor concerto, but he never finished that. And he was asked for piano concerto, cello concertos, and so on, but he never started to compose any concerto for or another instrument than violin. In the literature, there are mentions that Sibelius uh, originally planned the concerto for the great virtuoso Willy Burmester, but there is no real evidence for that. We don't really know that Sibelius composed the work for him or whether it was uh, commissioned by Burmester. So that's an open question. We don't really know very much about Viktor Novacek. Willy Burmester characterized him as a good teacher, but not as a great solist. And that's the image we have about him as a violinist, that he was not a kind of first-rate solist. But actually, the reception of the premiere was not at all so rejective as we might think and as uh, we may read in the literature. First of all, Novacek played the concerto by heart, so he must have known the work quite well. But there were many, many good critics explaining, for instance, that the second movement had to be repeated in the concert uh, because it was immediately a kind of favorite of the audience. So. The opinions were very sharply divided, and we don't really get a kind of unified picture of, of the reception of the first version. The first performance of the revised version of 1905 took place in Berlin. This time the violinist was Karl Halir, and uh, the conductor was Richard Strauss himself, and the German critics were also divided, so that some critics were very welcomed the work very warmly, but some critics wrote that the Beethoven concerto, which, which was performed in the same concert, was a kind of refreshment after Sibelius's work. First of all, the fact that the early version um, uh, includes two cadenzas, solo cadenzas, uh, in the first movement. There are also many virtuoso passages in the first movement, which Sibelius revised so that the violin part, the solo violin part, is not as virtuoso in the final version as it was in the first version. The second movement encountered less changes than the uh, first and the third movement. And in the third movement, the changes are mainly 
abridgments. So Sibelius crossed out whole pages in the, the original score. The German critics of the 1905 version wrote about a kind of um, Finnish soul or Finnishness in the concerto very openly, or some critic even said that, that it depicts dark and melancholy nature of Finland and Finnish people and such things. Some Finnish Critics even complained the lack of Finnish national characteristics in the concerto. I have felt that the second movement, for instance, nearer to German romanticism than any other Sibelius, actually. Instrumentation of the work may be one reason for the finishedness. It's dark. And it's interesting to know that, that Richard Strauss also noticed that and commented on that. He even said that Sibelius Concerto is badly orchestrated because it was so far away from his own orchestral music idiom. Axel Karpelan wrote to Sibelius about the Finnish orchestral tutti in the first movement. I think one part of that is the dark B flat minor and low register in the passage as a whole, the dark coloring, the dark instrumentation, powerful articulated strings, the melody itself. The ambiguous is all, all, um, only fifth, so it's very narrow and uh, it's typical also to Finnish folk songs. One might say that this, against all the rules of, of traditional instrumentation, where textbooks give the advice to use wider intervals in low register and small intervals in high register. But sometimes Sibelius does the opposite. It's not at all kind of typical Finnish folk dance. Um, it has been characterized as a Polonaise movement or some call it even bolero rhythm uh, movement. Even though it's in D major from the beginning. It has many passages in minor keys or the overall impression of the music is almost more minor than major. Of course, it ends with the same D major uh, as it began. Mm -hmm. 